All right, guys, I've got another uh, awesome video here for you, and this is going to be on my Verizon Galaxy S4. And I'm going to show you guys how to get root access on the newest build on this device at this time, anyway. So, we're going to go into About Phone, show you we're running Android 4.3, and this is build number MJ7. Now, there's been root access for this for a little while now but um, I just haven't liked the implementation of it yet to where I can feel like it's a pretty good method. So we have a good method now, I think, that works pretty well. So we're going to get into some prerequisites of this. There's going to be some things you're going to need to download on your computer and that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and start out with turning on USB debugging, which is done in developer options. So to turn that on, you just sit here and you keep tapping this until it says you're a developer right there in the bottom. Then you go back one and you have developer options. You make sure it's turned on up here and you make sure that USB debugging is checked and you should be all good there. Now at this point I would go ahead and on my computer I would go ahead and run the Samsung drivers and install them uh, and I'll show you that file and you'll have it in the video description as well. Once you have that done go ahead and take your USB cable right here and plug it into your device all right, and we'll leave it plugged in. I'm gonna go over to the settings here and click on this one right there. And let those drivers install on your computers too. So at this point, we can just leave the phone like this and go over to the computer. Okay, so we're on the computer. So there's a couple things you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Samsung drivers, which I'll give you a link to them in the video description. They're not super important. You're gonna need uh, vroot, which is actually this program right here and this is kind of the English version of it which is nice even though it does have Chinese stuff in it it is uh, easier to read because you can have some English writing in it as well and once you've connected your phone it should come to this screen and look just like this But before we do this process um, let's go ahead and take this file right here and you're just gonna open it and you're gonna extract it and once you've extracted it, it's going to go right here. You're going to have this little file, um, MRW. You're going to copy it. You're going to go find your device connected to your computer. Right here is mine. You're going to go to the phone. And then right in here, you're going to paste that file. And I've already done it, and it pastes to right here. It's very important that it's on the phone, not on the, S the card. It's got to be on the phone. And in internal, it can't be in any folders. It, has, it just has to look just like that. The um, right there, the MRW. So you've got that in place, and we can now go to our program for getting root access. And once it says this, you pretty much just go ahead and hit root. And what's kind of frustrating about this process is that it's actually going to go ahead and. Um, flash a like Chinese super user application to your device mm -hmm. which I don't like and you can see it's rebooting the device as well so that's why we put that other file on there that um, MRW because we're gonna flash that in another form through an app called terminal and um, then you're gonna go ahead and it's gonna replace it with super user because the Chinese super user application I just really don't like so you can see this is part of the root process right here and really as soon as your phone reboots and you come in here and scroll over you should see that Chinese super user application right there and you can close everything out on the computer at this point even if it says it's still waiting for a device or anything like that as long as that's there you're done with it so we'll close this out on the computer and we're actually done with the computer at this point okay so from here um, you always want to go to the Play Store and you know download an application called Terminal Emulator right there and you just download this thing Android Terminal Emulator and you hit open once it's downloaded and you come into here so this is where you're actually going to manually basically flash that file over. Um, at this point you can go ahead and unplug your phone, it really isn't important anymore. Um, but all you're going to do from here is go ahead and type in SU and then hit enter. 
and it's going to ask for super user but this is with the Chinese super user and you're going to say allow you saw how it looked kind of funky and we should see that number sign which we do right there by the cursor so from here you're just going to type in s h space symbol slash so we get to a slash and then sd card slash that file we put in there m r w slash root dot s h and just go ahead and double check to make sure you got that right let me just show it to you guys so you guys can see it right there you got everything typed in very correctly no issues okay it's all typed in so from here you're just going to hit the enter button and it's going to do something it's actually going to restart your your device up oh, there it goes shutting down and it's going to go ahead and do a restart now if everything went smoothly what this just did is it wiped off the chinese super user uh, application and its root access and has installed super user or super su i should say um, and its uh, su binaries and all of its goodies to give you correct root access on this device so you had the chinese root access on there for just a little bit and now it's going to be pulled off and we'll be back to everything like we're all used to having on our devices go ahead and open it up and go into well, i don't have a sim in here don't worry about that go into your app drawer and to make sure you right there you can see you have super su and you click on it and you hit continue you hit normal successfully and shabam there you go you have root access if you want to double prove it you can go to root checker and another application i've downloaded and verify root here you get the pop-up for a super user you're like you're used to seeing and congratulations your device has root access that is the process um, really not too hard uh, just basically a little thing you run on your computer a little terminal emula terminal emulator command and you're good to go fully functioning super su on the galaxy s4 mj7 build hope you guys like this video and as always root junkie out